So, 24 hours in Bali. What can we do? Let's get it. Bali vibe. So Lisa left me and there's like at least 20 monkeys I have to walk by to get to where Lisa is. Why is she doing this to me, bro? There goes the monkey with a baby on it. Damn it. Oh, hell no. Oh, my God. Oh, hell. Uh, a.m. here 7 p.m. home I don't know I can't keep up but it's it 5 p.m. at home I think okay 5 p.m. at home today we are going to win yes yeah, so this is our last full day in Bali this was a very short trip so we're about to like do everything that you can do when we get home like we should be knocked out like their time normal what do you mean yeah yeah like, it's gonna be a busy 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 day we can't let nothing hold us back today we're gonna hire a driver for the day um, so that just transportation is not going to be a problem at all. I heard some monkey noises. If y'all guys don't know, I'm not playing no monkey business. I'm not interested. Um, these monkeys come and take your things. So I don't know. I have my theories. And then the locals kind of like confirm my theories. So Lisa says I'm like monkey paranoid, but I'm not. I just don't trust them. And the locals say I, I mean, and you shouldn't trust them, but he acts like, I don't know, like he's a little scared of them. Just don't look him in the eye. Don't show him your teeth. Come on. And don't have anything don't, valuable in your hand. Don't, they, don't be like they, this. Will, they will take, they will snatch your stuff and take it back to their master. Okay? okay. Did you hear that? Lisa said, don't look the monkey in the eye. Okay, that's one. Don't show them my teeth. That's two. And don't have nothing valuable. Why would I want to go around this no, thing? The thing is, you nervous, you smile a lot. So you no. This is the start of our day. We're having breakfast. About to tear it up. I have uh, coconut, French toast. Lisa has a waffle, we have coffee, and of course we got our fruit. Fresh squeezed orange juice. So, we'll oh, fresh squeezed orange juice. We'll holler at you guys. Time to eat, you know what I'm saying? Is Lisa doing what Lisa does best. She calls her kids every 10 minutes whenever we're on vacation. It's pretty ridiculous, but I They actually called me this time. I love you guys. So, while Lisa's talking, let me let you know the itinerary. Actually, I actually really don't know it, but we're going to the waterfall. We're going to the rice field. We're going to the big swing. We're going to the monkey forest. We're gonna go to the markets. And then we're going to do a, uh, I'm doing a flower bath massage. Lisa's doing whatever she wants to do. We're both going to the spa today. We're gonna have a nice spa day. And that's how we're gonna end our day and then maybe try to go out, you know, nightlife out here. So we'll see how that works, but, uh, that's gonna start now. So where's our first stop? To the um, coffee plantation and swing. Oh, oh yeah. awesome. Oh, so what, they help make the coffee? Yeah, that's true. Make the coffee from the pool. From the pool? Yeah. What? <laughs> Yeah, we have food coffee. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So the coffee I'm gonna drink is yeah. from the, the poo pool of this thing, you know. Yeah. Is that normal? Yeah. What? Normal. This is the animal, like eat the cherry coffee, mm -hmm. but the animal just eat the red skin, not with the bean. Okay. Yeah, the bean the animal just swallow and then come out with the poo. And then you take the bean yeah, out the poo. Yeah, and we call it the poo and we process here. And we call Lua coffee. <laughs> what is it called? Lua coffee. Lua coffee. You or like cat, it? Or, or cappuccino. Cappuccino? <laughs> cappuccino. <laughs> <laughs> She's funny. 
grinding coffee. Lisa's grinding coffee. Poo-poo coffee. Cappuccino. Cappuccino. <laughs> she doing a good job? Yeah. Nah, you gotta... Come here, come here. Oh, two of us, too strong. <laughs> so we're about to try all this tea, and then we're gonna try the special. So the coffee's not on here, this is just the tea. Tea and coffee. It is okay. <laughs> <laughs> Good. All right, now we're headed to the swing. So we just tried the coffee. Yeah, it was cool, but we're not really coffee connoisseurs like that. But uh, it was it was good. We drunk someone's uh, animals dropping, so you know, gotta process that. But now we're going to the swing. I'm gonna do the super swing, guys. Let's see. You want to see what that looks like? I'm gonna be swinging over all this beautiful turn. What you think, Lisa? You got it, baby. Lisa can't swing because you know she got the baby coming. So she's gonna be the videographer of this bad boy. Let's do this. Thank you. All right, so we're still at the coffee plantation and they have all these opportunities to take people pictures. Of course, there is an entrance fee, um, 50,000 rupiah to take the pictures. If you want to do the swing, it depends which swing you want to do. That can be 200,000 rupiah to 300,000 rupiah, depending on what you want to do. But look at the beautiful landscape, like all these opportunities to take Instagram worthy pics. this little bridge and Lisa and I, hey, this 24 hour thing, we're already tired, bro. We're gonna see what we could do. <laughs> I got this thing swayed. <laughs> Lisa's all worried. She reads all the rules, like the bridge only could hold five people. So like she was rushing to try to get off the bridge. Mom. This coconut drink is giving a brother life right now. You know, even though I'm complaining. Good vibes, good vibes out here, man. Good vibes, Bali baby. So we're at the Rice Terrace and we made an executive decision. We just came from another spot that looked just like this. So we're and gonna we do go. a lot of walking and we're hot and we're, we're tired. Hot. So we're gonna pass on the Rice Terrace, but guys, it's a good spot to go. If you'd like to see it, there, there goes the Rice Terrace. We're gonna um, get a couple selfies and be out. Yeah, we're done. All right, next spot. We're about to go back into our our, our driver's car. 
We rented this driver for the whole day. And he's driving us everywhere we need to go. Oh, there you go, Lisa. V Cafe, vegan and vegetarian. Look at her face. Look at, look at her face. Like, hmm. I might not be vegetarian anymore after this trip. <laughs> Whatever. All right, let's go back. Okay, so we're here eating at Uma Sate. I don't know. Lisa said I'm pronouncing everything wrong, but here goes our food. I got a uh, beef ribs. Lisa has mushroom skewers. Um, lo mein. Fried, fried noodles. And fried noodles. That thing has shrimp in it. I didn't even know. Uh, special sauce. Yeah, that's it. That's our food right now. Lisa has a headache, so hopefully this food brings her back. All right. Just wanted to make sure we let y'all guys know what we're doing. Um, I would say, I don't know, maybe this food cost us, what, 20 bucks? Maybe $30, $30. It's crazy, it's crazy. Good stuff. All right, guys, so we are at another stop. We're at the Tenegu Nan. I can't remember. We'll write it somewhere on the screen. But it's the waterfall. I don't know if you can see it. There it goes right there. But we have, see all those steps behind us? We did those. We and have a lot more to go. We have a lot more steps to go, so. So the price for going. here is 20,000 yeah, per person. So we paid 20,000. We'll put the conversion somewhere on the screen too. But we're looking forward to it because it's hot. All right, let's go. Yeah. All right guys, so we just ascended about a hundred million steps. I don't even know how I'm gonna get back up there. But now we're getting close to the waterfall. Kind of going there. I'm excited to get in because I am hot, hot, hot. We made it to the waterfall, as y'all can see. It was worth the trip, um, got the osmosis in action. I ain't worried about it getting in the water because it's waterproof. This isn't like a nice clear water, so it's- it, it, it's, it's um, because of the rain and the mud. I think for the time of the year where it is a little bit clear. Oh. Yeah. You know, Lisa be paying attention. Me, but just be chilling out here in these streets. I gotta be careful because water shoes would have been good here. But, whoo! Oh, I went in. Oh. I'm so scared. Huh? I'm so scared. But, that's what we came here for, right? I don't know if it's going to be seen well, but let's check it out. So just chilling, so you know, just good vibes. Just good vibes, enjoying this trip. Um, this is a nice, this is a nice spot. Definitely worth it for, I mean, forty rubia, whatever that is. Um, how much? You would think we would know the conversion right now, but we don't. Yeah, we don't. <laughs> we just know it's not much money. So like forty thousand, forty thousand rubia is under ten bucks for sure. A um, hundred thousand rubia is like ten dollars. Hundred fifty thousand rubia is like ten bucks. So, $3. so we pay three dollars to get entrance to this beautiful waterfall. Get these nice views. Hey, bottling in twenty four hours, right? We ain't playing. We in this. And we still got a lot more day left. A whole lot more day left. And we're tired. And we got a nice spa day planned out. I'm about to be. I'm gonna spoil myself. So, chilling. Woo. Bali vibes? Oh. We survived. They we said it's. Someone said it's 200 steps. We made it. We're good. We enjoyed ourselves. And to leave here, there's like a shopping plaza you go by where they'll offer you drinks, coconut, corn, whatever you want to eat. Uh, very cool place. Definitely worth the money. Probably one of the top ones we've been to so far. Been to a lot of waterfalls and this one's on point. Coconuts and stuff. Cold coconut. 
she told me I need to have it, so I said, okay. <laughs> Every now and then. It's gonna be like a treat for the for the reward of making it up here. And this will be coconut number two for today, and I probably won't take any more coconut just because I don't want no stomach issues or anything like that. But this is natural, man. Thank you very much. All right, so we are at the Sacred Monkey Forest in Ubud, which was one of the must-do by several people, by several videos that we watched just for the scenery and stuff. But Sam is not really having it today. He's not a fan of the monkeys. I guess he, there's so many warnings, he doesn't know what to do. But anyways, the price of this is 80,000 rupiah per person. So we paid 160,000 rupiah per person, which comes up to about 11 or $12 um, to get in. So he's, Acting, whatever. All so, the signs say, oh, don't touch the monkeys, or the monkeys might touch you. Monkeys are unpredictable, they're pretty aggressive. Don't bring no food, don't try to take nothing from the monkeys, don't pet them. I don't want nothing to do with the monkeys. I mean, that sounds and like then, normal life. If like, you know me, there's a few things I don't like. The first thing I see here is a snake head right there. Bruh. There's a snake head right there. Can't stand that. And then there goes another snake head showing his teeth. Like, Bruh. I told Lisa, I don't want to see no damn snakes out here in Bali, but uh, this is like, I feel like this is a sign, like, and I have to hold tight on this phone because they said the monkeys are known to take your things. So, I don't know. They say don't run, don't show no fear, don't show your teeth don't to the monkeys, the so don't smile, don't, them. don't look them in the eyes, like, really? But They're to like, me, that's like normal stuff, like, who would want to look the monkey in the eye? Like, come on. Look Gosh, at this. Look how first good of all, this feel. Look at this serenity. <laughs> Whatever like, he's Lisa. all like high anxious. Like I'm not know. interested. I'm okay, not. we will see what happens. I'm about to. Oh baby, the lighting in here is fire. So look at this. We're gonna take some bomb shots, and he's gonna be all right. He's gonna be all anxious. Hopefully, he won't ruin my zen. These Bruh. monkeys have rabies. They, they say can it. have rabies. And you have to go get shots. And a lot of people leave Bali and go to another country to take shots because the shots here are so expensive. So I wonder how many times people have been bitten or scratched. You know scratched. what? I bet you all those people try to feed the monkeys. But you know I what? You. Here we go. Lord God, bless me, protect me, and allow this to be fun, allow this to be smooth because... <sighs> Lord, we come and get anxiety. Let us have a good time. I'm getting a little bit better, guys. I'm getting a little bit better. But they're all over the place, so like you have no choice but to uh, just get used to it. It's free. I guess this is their forest. Lisa was right. All right, let's go. I like following these couples who aren't scared at all. They're all up in it, and if a monkey's gonna mess with someone, be more like them than us. So let's go. Monkey forest. Bruh. Nah. How am I supposed to go down here? Okay. Uh, we get us with this monkey in the background. I'll get you with this monkey. There you go. Lisa on some other stuff, bro. Watch out, your friend coming. Oh, Lord. Smooth out the way. Okay. Okay, watch me walk by this thing. Alright, I'm walking by it. Okay, I'm walking. Oops, sorry. Walking by the monkey. I took energy. I took courage. Mm -hmm. Huh? My man said he got. I took a picture, a video. Yeah, real story. Did he just take something? This guy, yep, yeah, he took something. He took something from him. The monkey just jacked him, son. And look at them. The monkey just jacked him. Why? Listen, I was just talking to my friend here. Oh, he was almost. And he told me that he got bit by a monkey. And I, was, I had to hear more. I was like, well, how did you get bit by a monkey so I don't do it? He said he was staring the monkey in the eyes. And after he said that, I said, you know what? I'm gonna stay away from you. 
and the monkey jumped on his back and took stuff you. out of him. Took stuff out, but good you went away. Good luck, my friend. Oh my Take God, care. Again. <laughs> oh, he jumped on her back. Why am I? I cannot defend you. I mean, come on. Bruh. She gave him a business card. Forget that. I am not interested in none of that. Oh, Lord Jesus, please protect me. So, so Lisa left me. And it's like at least 20 monkeys I have to walk by to get to where Lisa is. Why is she doing this to me, bro? There goes a monkey with a baby on it. Damn it. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell. Uh, uh, don't run, my brother. Please don't run. <laughs> Especially don't run towards me. Let me keep it moving. I'm going away, man. I'm sorry. Let me sneak my way through. Doing better now. Lisa gave me a pet talk and told me I need to chill out, so I'm doing better. Bro, oh, hell no, there goes a the monkey right behind me. F that. All right, so we are out of here. Sam has had enough of the monkey for us. I've seen too much. And finally, I don't know what happened, but Lisa kind of rolled with me. So. It happened. You were super anxious, so I said, let me let you go so that you don't have a heart attack out here. Tell you what I saw. I saw <laughs> her. I'll talk to you when we're out of here. When we get out of here, see, see, there goes the monkey again. Jumped on someone. Took her stuff. Took her stuff. When we get out of here, see, see, there goes the monkey again. Jumped on someone. Took her stuff. Took her stuff. All right. So we survived the sacred maze forest. So got a little sketchy on there. <laughs> I was right. Lisa, okay, so Lisa let me go because my anxiety was too high and I've seen enough. I've seen enough. Like, once we was on our way out, once we was on our exit, we were ready to go. So, One jump, like, right in front of us as we're leaving. Yeah, so, it got intense. If you're a squirmish, don't like animals, this definitely isn't for you. But it's a cool experience, a cool experience. but I was scared. And I would suggest not to bring anything with you. I think I was good. No, Lisa, my okay. Zippers, my Lisa zippers didn't listen to me. And I told her not to bring, oh, that's all right. I told her not to bring her freaking backpack. I said, leave it in the car. I don't think we need it. But no, she didn't listen to me. She, she brought her backpack. So here goes our ride. We out of this piece. She brought her backpack and we saw these monkeys just open up backpacks uh, left and right. So but what I was saying is, I mean, I, next time if I was to them, I wouldn't leave my backpack, but I think mine is a little different because of where the zipper is. These people were regular bags. Like they went straight up in there. Ju 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 ju. I have like an anti theft but where it's literally against my back. Screw that. The zipper. I, I rarely get upset at Lisa, you know? You're so upset? Why are you upset? I, I wasn't upset, but it was grounds for me to get upset if a monkey would have got in your bag and took stuff out. Um, Cause they were good. And I told you don't bring the bag. So I don't have to worry about that. Cause that seemed to be the target. And she had cookies in her backpack. I and know. I didn't know, let me finish. I didn't know if there was any crumbs or anything or if she left the wrapper of the cookies in the backpack. I didn't know these things. And I was like, just leave it. But she didn't listen to me. She brought her backpack. Anyways, we don't, have, we don't have to dwell on what could have been. We survived. It didn't go in our bag. Sam is done with Putu. it. So he's happy. I don't like the monkey forest. Oh, really? I mean, there were some times where I got a little whatever jumpy, but mostly my anxiety was from his anxiety. I'm like, oh, okay, let's just go. Because he, I don't know, at one point, I'm like, oh, well, he's like through the roof. He's, he's about to explode. I was like, let's just go. Let's just go. Yeah. If yeah, one, it was. Because, like, it? most of the time, like, I have to be a protector and I have to protect Lisa. How the heck am I going to protect her when I'm already scared? Like, I didn't even want these monkeys well, listen, like, to do guys, anything. I knew I was on my own. If a monkey jumped on my back, I knew <laughs> I was on my own. Okay. Maybe I would have done something, man. <laughs> no, nah, he would have done nothing, bro. I was on my own. Freaking but, like I said, we survived. It was an experience. We have stories to tell. And now you guys get to live vicariously through us. All right, you guys, so we're in the Ubud Street Market, right? I think that's what it's called? Yeah. So it's basically like going down an alleyway with a whole bunch of different things for sale, little bags and dresses and um, negotiate, negotiate, negotiate. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it's okay to walk away from a shop because that's so kind of how you get the prices down. And you might find a shop that'll actually sell it to you for what you want. They say it's always better to come in the beginning of the day because um, 
for them, like usually their first customers, they feel like are lucky. So they'll give you like a really good deal. By the end of the day, they're kind of tired. Like even us walking like, through here, like they barely, sleeping. they barely even like paid attention to us. It was like, us. yeah. So I don't know. I'm looking at these bags. Cause you still looking at it? I'm still looking. We'll see. Be careful. But yeah, so it's been an interesting experience. We got a few things for some family members. <laughs> and I mean, even with all negotiating, like when we do the math, it's like, wow. So we made a quick stop to a supermarket because Sam needed a power adapter. Our phone is dying, but I just want to show you guys a quick look around. And what it kind of looks like. You feel relaxed? I feel relaxed. This was a good day. We enjoyed the spa. Hour and a half massage. I had a scrub down with some, I don't know what they put on, but they scrubbed my whole body down um, after a full of body massage. And then I had a rose petal bath, which I thoroughly enjoyed. Um, Lisa had something similar, but not the full effect because, you know, she's pregnant. So they gave her, I don't know, what would you describe yours? It was just a massage, all of us were bad, and I didn't get the scrub. Yeah, so she didn't get the scrub, but it was awesome. Um, now it's time to eat and go to sleep. Okay, the time is finally here. And honestly, she doesn't even have a choice. Lisa just ordered shrimp. What yeah, else? And prawn. fish, right? No, it's prawn. I don't know the difference between prawn and shrimp. But uh, she just ordered shrimp and she hasn't had meat in three years. Or seafood in three years. And I, I've i been encouraging her not to. But <laughs> so I have been really craving meat during this pregnancy. And I don't know, for some reason I felt like when I was on this trip I would probably like indulge in some seafood. I, I said I probably wouldn't try any other meat. I don't think I'm going to try like chicken or beef or anything like that. I said I'll try some seafood. I don't know, I kind of wanted some shrimp, so I tried it. I'm going to try it. Wait, that's true. Hold on, baby. Okay. <laughs> So this is the moment of truth. I don't plan on coming back and eating this stuff all the time, but I did want to try some seafood. I don't know while I was over in Asia. So here we go. Wait. Are you sure you're? Oh my goodness. Lisa. I know. Was it worth it? It was good. It tastes good? Yeah. Wow, I can't believe it, guys. So, now, I mean, Lisa, like, you could have waited for, like, a whole nother vlog for this. Like, how are you going to let Bali be the vlog? Bali's a vlog of his own, my love. Like, how are you going to make Bali be the vlog that you... Sure, I told you, you when, go back I, on the when I got here, I probably was going to... No, I'm not on the bandwagon, Sam. I'm not what on the bandwagon. Mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? Because I feel like you think that I'm going to eat this all the time now. Like... I tried this dish. I don't know if I'll try another one. But I don't plan on going back home and eating this again. Like, this is like a... I was on vacation, I'm pregnant, and I wanted it, so I'm trying it. So. You know me, I got my chicken. Because I, I went back. I went on the bandwagon. Lisa said she's not. But, oh my goodness. She did it. I can't believe it. Don't worry, I don't look at you any differently, but... You're going to need to brush your teeth when you get back to the room. For those who don't know, I am severely allergic to shellfish. And I found out that I was allergic to shellfish when I was dating Lisa and she ordered some shrimp and I kissed her um, after she ate the shrimp and I had an allergic reaction. That's when I found out that I was allergic to shrimp and shellfish. That's when I started getting my EpiPins um, and no turning back from there like baby when we started to do like crab boils was I, was I allergic then yeah he just ignored it yeah I don't know why Lisa did this to me 
I used to love me some shellfish, but I couldn't eat. I never cared for shrimp, and shrimp was the one that like my throat get my throat gets swollen. It's not good. My lips get swollen. It's, everything just gets swollen. It's not just die. shrimp. It's all of them. But he likes to pretend like because he used to take Benadryl beforehand that he wasn't allergic to crab. But we have friends of ours who had a barbecue, and they were the last ones to experience Sam's sort of allergic reaction, where his lip was like this big for three days. And if you ask him now if he'd eat crab again, he'd tell you yes. <sighs> Those friends didn't even let me drive home that day. Like, like seriously, my lip is swollen. Like, I could drive, <laughs> but it's all good. They took me home. I can't believe Lisa's eating shrimp right now, but it's okay. No judgment here. And she said she's not on the bandwagon, so I'm not. You know, if she eats stuff again, like our trip just started. We have two more countries to hit, and she's excited about the food in Singapore. So. I don't know, we'll see. You see yourself eating something in Singapore? If I feel like it. <laughs> At that note, I'm gonna eat my meal. We're about to leave, we're about to catch our airplane ride. Our airplane, I guess. We're about to catch our plane to um, go to Singapore now. Now we're gonna go to Singapore and I'll catch you guys there. The best, the best, the best personal driver in Bali. Wherever you need to go, he knows it. He knows the right places to go, the right places to eat. He knows the right tours to go to. Friendly, caring, and trustworthy. Trust me. Futu.